Hello guys, and before you ask, yes, I'm in a dingy basement, <laughs> and I got a secret announcement between you and me, and I'm gonna say it before we start the video, okay, I got a freaking second channel, baby, <laughs> let's go, and if you are wondering what it's called, I made a community post about it. Oh, but it is called this word right here. Yeah, it's called that. <laughs> Gauge with three E's. Yeah, I really named that. I kind of think of something better. But, with that out of the way, let's get on to the main part of the video. My review of the Super Mario Bros. movie. And, number one, no, I am not a review channel. Don't ask again. I just wanted to make this. Now, honest thoughts going into the movie. I had very high expectations. From the whole movie, the movie trailer, I had very, very high expectations of what this movie would be. And walking into the movie theater, my family was just going, bro, this better be good. This has to be good. This is Nintendo we're talking about. This is Mario. They're, they're freaking, freaking mascot. They have to. They literally have to make this good. But actual review of the movie hits freaking amazing one of the best movies i've ever seen i went on rotten tomatoes also i looked at they had a 53 percent of this movie i want to slice somebody's throat open right now but still, it's a amazing movie. I don't care what critics say. We should just stop listening to them at this point, <laughs> because this movie is insane. The well, I'm gonna split this video up into three little categories. Number one is going to be the good category: visuals. Number two is going to be pacing and story and number three is going to oh, be summarizing so let's begin part one and that is <laughs> I forgot to put my book away. visuals now the visuals for this movie are absolutely insane i don't care what you say they are insane hey, it's insane also, the voice actors they have on this thing, people, when they heard that Chris Pratt was voicing Mario, were like, Oh my god, Nintendo, why didn't you just have Charles Martinet? Oh my god, you stupid! But, I'm gonna tell you this. Hearing, it's -a me, a Mario, 24-7 would wrap my brain and would probably make me go insane. I'm not joking by that. Also, how do you know his voice is pretty good? All the, the voice that we hear from Mario is him saying, Let's go! Or, or him just making weird grunts. So, I think Chris Pratt was a good choice. I mean, it was a choice. But, coming out of the movie, it was an amazing choice because he killed it. Every single person killed it in the right room. People say that Seth Rogen didn't do the best job. He, I mean, he even admitted that he just used his normal voice. But, be honest, I didn't really care. Be honest, as also the interaction between Mario and Donkey Kong is <laughs> so funny. I'm also, humor in this movie is, is pretty funny. I'm not going to lie. It's like child humor. But it's funny. I, I know, your, your dad disobeys so you. Mm -hmm. But it's just... Honey, so that, that's the visuals. Also, before we get on to the next category, Jack Black. How can we not mention this guy when we're talking about the Mario movie? This dude killed it in the writing room. Absolutely blew the whole thing away. 
his voice as Bowser is insane. Absolutely insane. <laughs> I'm not joking. Also, his musical number, Peaches, I got that thing stuck in my mind. 24-7, oh, my brain is just... Peaches, 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 Ah, love, love you. Oh, that's just running through my brain 24-7, and I can't get it out. Anyways, number two. Oh, no. Pacing in story. Okay, number one, the pacing in this movie moves incredibly fast. One part, they are like, okay, I need to prove my family wrong, so I'm going to go save the city. Then, now, all of a sudden, I'm in a mushroom land, talking to a walking mushroom. Then, all of a sudden, I met a princess. Then, all of a sudden, Bowser is trying to kill us. Then, all of a sudden, Bowser is singing. Then, all of a sudden, we need Donkey Kong. Then, all of a sudden, we're doing Mario Kart. And it just keeps on just going, okay, we're here. Okay, we're here. Okay, we're here. Oh. I just swear to God, Mario could probably not catch a literal single breath in this movie. But, story... People keep on saying, like, <laughs> there wasn't any story in this movie. It's just not that good. Like, huh? Huh? What'd you say? I'm gonna tell you something. Every single Mario game has not had that deep of a story. We're not getting freaking story arcs in the Mario movie. This is Mario, might I remind you. The whole plot of every single Mario game was Bowser wants Peach, Bowser kidnaps Peach, Mario save Peach. And this time they actually switched it up a bit. Ma Bowser wants to marry Peach, Bowser kidnaps Luigi, and then Mario and Peach go fight Bowser with Donkey Kong. I mean, at least they did something. I'm surprised they put Donkey Kong in the movie. Also, I would literally want to see a Donkey Kong movie too. Also, at the end of this video, I made a whole plot. For the Mario movie too. Nintendo, hook me up. I will help you. <laughs> but yeah. Number three. Conclusion. Now I'm about to turn into three C films here for a second. Okay. Number one. Comedy. I gotta give comedy four to be honest. It got me laugh, giggling a couple of times. Not burst out laughing. But no movie really does that for me. So yeah. Number two, action. It's in. It's a kids' movie. I mean, I'll give it about a two. It has some action, but not the most. Horror zero. There's no horror in this movie. The most scary thing about this movie is the freaking viper eel. They put in there. Why would they put that in there? Mario sixty four scarred me from that, and now they have to put it here. And suspense. It's it's a kids' movie. We all know what's gonna happen at the end. Mario's gonna win, yay, 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 so it just doesn't surprise me that there's, like, no suspense in the movie, I'll give it, like, a one star, since there's something, like, oh, how's this gonna work out, how's this gonna work out in the end, huh, it's not like they're gonna kill Donkey Kong with a barrel, so, yeah, that's my review of the movie, and now, Mario 2 plot, yeah. I just turned into a little cringe machine there for a second. Okay, beginning of the movie. Everything's going nice in the Mushroom Kingdom. The Mushroom Kingdom and the real life, they're just in peace of each other. This move is going to revolve around Yoshi's Island. And the, man, the villain for the movie is going to be Birdo. And how this will end in the movie is Birdo will <laughs> see that it's not okay to be bad at the, like, end climax in a big fight scene. And then she'll just become nice and Yoshi's girlfriend since, you know, you know, you saw the end of the Mario movie, that split second scene with the Yoshi A. Also, Birdo's having a son. Like, there's a son, like a 13-year-old son to you. And I named him Turbo, because he can run fast. Please don't, please don't copyright that thing for the snail. 
anyways, and I want that turbo guy to be voiced by me. Nintendo. If you're like, oh, who cares about this stupid kid? Number one, I will do it for completely free. I will buy my own food. You don't have to pay me a single cent. I will do it for completely free. Number two, I'm a child, and if it if there's gonna be a child <laughs> turbo in the movie, I mean, you need a child to voice it. That just makes sense, cause adults, they're adults. I don't want to hear. Hey, I'm a child. What are you doing? Cause that will legitimately hurt my. Also, I can't switch between my voice. I can sing, kinda. At the beginning where I just sung that little Pisha song, I was not trying to be honest. But, yeah, that's the plot. Yoshi is going to become friends with Mario. They're going to save the day because Birdo was trying to destroy the role of all the other kingdoms because she thought she was the best. And, yeah, that's the end of my video, Nintendo. Call me. <laughs> yeah, that's the end of the video. Bye.